once again, I'm your host, Chris Bickham, and this is your Is It the Fucking Future Yet? <sighs> Thursday update. Call me a dumb. Humankind made a breakthrough yesterday in the field of biohybrid robotics. A functional robot arm was engineered utilizing a rigid skeleton support structure and muscle tissue grown in vitro. Previous examples of biohybrid robots have utilized cardiac and skeletal muscle tissue. This iteration realized an antagonistic set of muscles to deliver forces across the joint. Difficulty exists in this pursuit. Traction forces during culture cause shrinkage in the muscle tissue when utilized with flexible substrates allowing only a short window of functionality. Hind limb muscle cells were sampled from neonatal rats and cultured on matrigel, matrigel hydrogel sheets. Grooved structures with gaps parallel to the long axis promote orientation of myoblasts and facilitate culture medium and oxygen transport to the tissue. Researchers use a PDMS locking support structure during the myoblast maturation phase, allowing the engineered muscles to develop under the condition of constant length. It was shown these robot arms achieved a peak performance when cultured for 10 days. Utilizing antagonistic sets tissues of opposing muscles shrink at similar rates, yielding a longer lifespan, seven days, compared to the three achieved in its flimsy conventional predecessors. Footage of the robot in operation, and might I say, someone signal Starbuck. The fracking Cylons are upon us. Let's be real. It's fucking expensive to say, send nuclear-powered rovers to Mars. Mars is six and a half light minutes away. If you send a command for a rover to accelerate and it gets stuck, you won't even know how screwed you are for another 13 minutes. Currently, the environment of rovers are mimicked here on Earth and thoroughly tested so that the potential for catastrophic failure can be minimized. Add the fact that Mars has a surface area of approximately 56 million square miles. This means we have to be very particular where we send our shit. A comprehensive analysis of analogous Earth fossils was published in the Journal of Geophysical Research. This proposes potential microscopic organisms that could have potentially survived in the condition we map as probable for Mars distant past and compares this to the potential for fossilization in said conditions. The study proposes several Earth microbes that, or some similar organism, may have possessed a metabolism that could operate in the conditions on Mars. 1. Sulfur compound reducing bacteria and methanogens. This is the oldest metabolism on Earth. Problem is, their structure is rarely conducive to yielding direct fossil evidence. 2. Photosynthetic bacteria, probably the only one on the list you've ever fucking heard of. Anoxic conditions on early Mars present the potential for preservation of iron oxidizing phototrophs, given the correct crustifying conditions. 3. Chemosynthetic iron oxidizing bacteria. These possess the potential for fossilization. Unfortunately, there exist abiotic processes that can yield comparable structures, leading us to a Nuevo Terra Mexican standoff in the quest to ascertain bio biogenicity of ancient microfossils. 4. Iron reducers. They don't speculate on the potential for fossilization on Mars. This section is one paragraph long. This paper is open access, and I would submit, after reading it, I'm pretty fucking bummed about the potential of finding any proof of life on Mars in my lifetime. What is more OG than Al Pacino? I'll tell you. The oldest Italian food ever. <coughs> published in Analytic Methods, which is free to the public to access. Early Bronze Age pottery was found to have contained olive oil more than half a century older than previously documented. The paper focuses on techniques to utilize nuclear magnetic resonance imaging, gas chromatography, mass spectrometry to discern natural compounds in archaeological environments. As stated in the abstract, the olive oil traces were detected from residues remaining in the porous pottery. Next time you eat Italian food and say, DAMN! That shit is so good! Now you know. They've been doing it since... Well... The end of the third millennium BCE. Pretty much fucking forever. <laughs>